Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Love Bachata and Snoria. And guess what? The new version of the Noble Nokia Experience S8 port is out. So the version 5 is out, and I'm so happy right now. It must be amazing. And there are some problems with the new version as well, but they can be fixed. No worries about it. So we're gonna install it today. And before we get started, I would just like to say if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share the video. And now let's get into it. So first of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off a device. So now that the device has been turned off, we're just gonna go into the custom recovery. And to do that, we're just gonna press volume up key, home key, and power key at the same time. And now we're gonna let go of the power key. And the device is now booting into the custom recovery. And now we're gonna go in wipe and now we're gonna go in advanced wipe and we're gonna select the Dalvik ART cache, system, data and cache and we're gonna swipe to wipe. Now we're gonna go back, back and back and we're gonna go and install and we're gonna select the, the NNE 5.0 stables S8 port and we're gonna swipe to confirm flash. So the ROM comes with the Aroma installer which gives you a lot of customization in your ROMs. You have customization in this ROM so you have the whole change lock over here and the ROM comes with the Bixby voice I think which is really amazing. So we're gonna select next, next and we're gonna go with the clean install next. And my device is the G925F so I'm just gonna select that next and you have two options over here one multi-user option that i don't use and i don't think anybody uses that anymore and you also have the disable spcm app club what it does it it will allow applications to run in the background and use the full extent of the ram but i don't really like it so i'm just gonna let it be disabled so next and you're gonna have to install all the features that you want in your rom so i'm gonna go with the accessibilities the accessibilities are the accessibilities that come from samsung and i don't really like the easy launcher so i'm not gonna select that you have edge features i'm gonna select the game tools and all and you also have the functionality for the gear vr and android vr support so i'm just gonna select the every android vr support and i don't really have the gear vr so i'm not gonna select that so you also have the samsung magnifier which i'm gonna select the samsung push services samsung cloud samsung print s fine and i don't need the smart switch support and the stk app tool and then ims telephony which helps with the volt e then i'm gonna select the wi-fi track and one problem was in the last version that the uh, wi-fi track wouldn't work and the phone would just freeze so that's that and we're gonna select the sound alive the samsung mirror link vpn support ussg codes secure folder some extra features and then you can select the main applications to install over here and it does say samsung bixby and the bixby voice so we're gonna select that and we're gonna see if it actually works and you also have the uh, samsung always on display samsung browser calculator calendar clock app and i'm not gonna select the email app galaxy app music my files weather smart manager and google now and that's it and i'm not gonna select this voice so next and you have the preferences whichever you want so i'm gonna go with the s8 port camera and it says that it has fixed the sticker face which is like the snapchat filters or the augmented reality thing over here and you can enable and disable the navigation bar from here so i would still prefer using the physical buttons and let's go with the alexis dual speaker mod which allows your speaker right over here to act as a loudspeaker so that is a great thing to have so it basically creates a stereo speakers kind of setup over here so i'm just gonna go with the viper for android once again and stock font and the samsung stock emojis whichever you want you like you select that and next and the rom is installing now it may take around two to three minutes to install so we're gonna let it install right now so the rom is installed now and it took about two to three minutes to install so we're gonna press next over here and we're gonna reboot the system and the first boot up takes around 10 to 15 minutes so it takes quite good amount of time to boot up so we're gonna just let it sit and 
boot up and that is something new you get a new audio the new startup audio so that is something new so now we're gonna just let it sit aside and let it boot up so guys the device finally booted up and it feels like it has been a long time since it was trying to boot up and it took more than 15 minutes i guess to boot up so we're just gonna quickly set it up and see what the rom is all about So the device just booted up and it's all set up now and all of things are working so let's go into about settings and as you can see it is a little bit slow but it just booted up so that is understandable so we're gonna go in about device and you have the device name as the Galaxy S6 Edge and the model name of the S8 and we're gonna go in software info and once again from the S8 everything is from S8 so we're just gonna go out and as you can see it is much getting much faster as we use it more and more and you have all the features over here and you also have the Bixby and the Bixby voice should be working so we're just gonna set it up and see if it works so as you can see it is working and as you can see the Bixby is working and the animations are just amazing in it so we're gonna go with English so we do not have that so we're just gonna script that and as you can see you have many applications that it can work with so that is a great thing and we're gonna update these applications so as you can see the Facebook, YouTube, it works with all. So next and we're gonna let them update. Let's see if, if those work. Show me my notifications. Show me my notifications. Okay Bixby. Hi Bixby. Hi Bixby. So I might have to tinker with that a little bit. As you saw that we have that uh, cropped over here because that is from the S8. So that is the thing but it is working and I'm so happy. I'll post a separate review for the Bixby and it is going to be amazing. So the ROM also comes with the Google Assistant I guess and that is a great thing too. The Google Assistant is amazing and I think the edge lighting is going a little bit rounded and not across the edges that we have on this device. So that is a thing that you get with this ROM. So the Novel Nugget Experience S8 port in my opinion is the best ROM out right now. So I think that's it with the installation and the first look and the review video will be out really soon and i think that's it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share the video and thanks for watching guys